is an integrated project that is aiming at the creation of startup companies. In particular, it is a project that has been financed by some major funds and banking foundations, and it aims at joining together technology innovators with new businessmen. The program, this program specifically, is very much about um, using Florence and generally Italy as a classroom. It's very much about going out there. There is no other way to learn about the world other than to travel to different places and experience everything for what it is. I do think that the SIDLA project sets Syracuse University uh, in Florence ahead of other American projects. First of all, because it is perfectly in accordance with our philosophy, which is that we do try to transform our students from long-term tourists into short-term citizens. And in fact, in so doing, our students they have the possibility of being in touch, A, with some of the top-notch academic institutions in Italy because let me also remind that uh, such academic institutions as Università Bocconi in Milano or such as the Scuola di Studi Superiori Sant'Anna which are global level academic institutions are also part of these projects. When I started to completely think about the project I realized that that was an amazing opportunity for our students to really have a concrete opportunity to observe how a business grows and especially how business grows out of academic and scientific research. And, and that uh, is done in a very, very international environment, very updated, you know, fast speed for, you know, when it comes to compare international education. It's a great title to put on the resume. <laughs> And I, I think it, it's a great experience because it's always helpful to tell an employer that, well, I work with an international company, or, uh, well, gee, look at my experience, I helped this business grow. And for you yourself, you kind of get inspired by them because it's people that are outside of business and here they're trying to pursue their passion. And it's, I think that, if anything, it's a very encouraging experience for you. One basic data that we have to keep into consideration, which is that nowadays having an international exposure is considered to be a basic requirement for any young person that wishes to enter the professional world. International, international in, in, in internships are getting more and more important. In other words, as the uh, attention of uh, nations and governments is uh, shifting towards international education. There's more and more attention to, um, you know, international internships, and to the point that slowly, uh, it, what is happening that when um, uh, students are hired, even for an internship, you know, often it is asked whether they had uh, study abroad experience or international internships. of task have the interns been performing. Most of the time they have been involved in marketing researches. This has been also particularly challenging because in fact what we are talking about here are startup companies, therefore companies that have completely to develop a brand new approach to their future business. Therefore interns have been challenged on a double level. My degree is economics and therefore a business or an enterprise is something kind of outside of my field, but not, and so Seed Lab is a very nice bridge in between two fields because we really get to see a startup happening and how all, all these different entrepreneurs with different ideas, how they're trying to grow. Our student interns have been able to choose the company that they prefer, the company that they actually found also more interesting in view of their future professional interest. The, the gentleman I work with are app developers and they know how to develop apps. If they do not know how to sell them, they don't know who they're selling them to, they don't know the market. So really that's where we came in to really help all these different entrepreneurs. Also the, the way the SIGLA project was structured, we had amazing lectures. Like yesterday we had the director of Microsoft Italy, the week before we had um, the marketing person for Tusan and Gucci. So, first-rate speakers, you know, exposure to uh, the Italian managing world. Uh, it gives flexibility, it gives uh, stimulation, it is a challenge because very often internships abroad 
are not all the time easy. Uh, the, the feedback I have received so far is amazing with you and I'm just looking forward to repeat it.